सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सुखम निप्रकाशम व्यापक नाम अधिष्ठान बुद्ध्यबोध्यम बुद्धेर्दृग्यप्त निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदेद्यम प्रत्यक परम मह तदेवाहम नमत्दी मे निश्चिता मति विचार सागर फोर्थ चैप्टर पेज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट सेकंड पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट लाइन तथा प्रमातरी सुख दुखादुत्पत्ति काले अंतकरण से वृत्ति सुखाकारा दुखाकारा चवती तथा वृत्या सह सुख दुखा देहे संबंधो जायते तस्मा सुख दुखादेर्ज्ञान प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानमुच्यते पूर्वोत्पन्न सुख दुखादे नाशानर यदा पुष सुख दुखादि ज्ञान जायते तदा सुख दुखाद्याकारा अंतकृत्तिरुदेति किंतु तस्या वृत्ति नष्ट सुख दुखादीना संबंधो नास्ति अतः तज्ञान स्मृति न प्रत्यक्ष सुरेश्वराचार्य सारी निश्चल दास आंसरिंग टू तत्वदृष्टि द स्टूडेंट हु हैज कम टू द कंक्लूजन दैट ब्रह्मज्ञान इज नॉट पॉसिबल डायरेक्टली प्रत्यक्ष रूपेण ब्रह्मज्ञान आर् अपरोक्षतया ब्रह्मज्ञान न संभवति फर् दैट ही गेव रीजन आलो सिंस ब्रह्मन डज नाट हैव एनी सेन्स आर्गॉन्स नाट अवेलेबल फॉर अंतकरण नाट एक्सटर्नल सेन्स आर्गॉन्स बाह्य इंद्रिय बाह्य मीन्स हियर ज्ञान इंद्रियम्स आर कर्म इंद्रियम्स आर अंतकरण अंतरिंद्रिय ब्रह्मन इज नाट अवेलेबल टू नो देर फोर ब्रह्म विषय प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान न संभवती इस इस कंक्लूशन फॉर दैट निश्चल दास आंसरिंग ज्ञान इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स प्रत्यक्ष एंड परोक्षम You are talking about the pratyaksham only one type of pratyaksham. So knowledge, jnana is divided into two. One is pratyaksha jnana, direct knowledge, and paroksha jnana, indirect knowledge. So this pratyaksha jnana is uh, taken by tattva drushti is only one type of pratyaksha jnana. This jnana sub matter, subject matter is discussed in our shastras, advaita epistemology. Epistemology means here we are seeing the whole advaita epistemology. What is the meaning of epistemology? If we see the dictionary, that uh, they give the meaning that branch of science or philosophy. 
that branch of philosophy which is investigated which is investigated through this uh, its origin and uh, nature and limitation human limitations of human knowledge and methods where the four are discussed what are the four origin of knowledge nature of knowledge and methods of knowledge and human limitations human intellect limitation or human knowledge limitations of human knowledge when all these are discussed that is called epistemology so now we are seeing the advaita epistemology where all these are discussed pratyaksha gnanam paroksha gnanam pratyaksha gnanam is of three types nischala dasa said pratyaksha gnanam is of three types one is aindrika pratyaksham indriya janyam aindrikam tadhita prayoga tadhitantam indriya janyam that which is born out of sense sensory perception sense organs contacting the sense objects through that you get a knowledge is called aindrika pratyaksham or indriya pratyaksham you can say then the second uh, aindrika pratyaksham example ghatagnanam patagnanam grihagnanam all any gnanam gandha gnanam shabda gnanam any gnanam shabda uh, that is sense organ and sense object contact that is called uh, indriya pratyaksham direct knowledge born out of uh, indriyams sense organs then the second uh, he introduced is uh, shabda gnanam shabda like um, dashamaha tvamasi sometimes shabda gnanam gives pratyaksha gnanam sometimes shabda gnanam gives paroksha gnanam shabda gnanam can give pratyaksha gnanam also paroksha gnanam also in the case of dashamaha tvamasi it is shabda pratyaksha gnanam guru said on apta purusha said you are the 10th man that shabda has given knowledge to the 10th man yes i am the 10th man that is shabda gnana literary also literacy is required for shabda gnana sometimes shabda gnana gives paroksha gnana about swarga veda words talks about swarga shabda veda shabda gives the knowledge of swarga swarga you cannot see directly but it is paroksham sometimes shabda gives paroksha gnanam also so pratyaksha gnanam also gives suppose a person do not know my words english language he cannot understand the shabda what swami is talking so they do not know this particular language they cannot understand this language shabda enters in the ears but he cannot or she cannot understand what is going on so shabda gnanam this paroksha gnanam it is not pratyaksha gnanam vichara sagara pratyaksha gnanam will not take place when there is english language illiteracy is there it is not possible therefore shabda janya gnanam second one pratyaksha gnanam is possible what is the third one he introduced is sakshi pratyaksham or sakshi bhasyam here nishchala dasa used the word sakshi bhasyam sakshi bhasyam means that which is available for sakshi i the sakshi chaitanyam what do you mean by sakshi chaitanyam sakshi chaitanyam sakshi is that um, 
we have to understand sakshi is called pramata when the mind is included in the meaning of i whenever we use the word i that i word includes the mind it is called pramata the individual consciousness plus mind included it is called pramata i pramata i no over i pramata i but when you exclude the mind from that i consciousness alone is there mind you exclude it is called sakshi i so sakshi i pramata i the difference we have to remember what is the difference pramata i is that then sometimes that is why sakshi is called pramata because consciousness plus mind included in that mind inclusive consciousness mind enclosed consciousness that is better mind enclosed consciousness is called pramata mind unenclosed consciousness is called sakshi that is clearly evident in this portion which we are seeing he says in the case of brahman pratyaksha gnanam is possible even though it doesn't fall within sense perception sense organs contact shabda sparsha roopa rasagandha all are ruled out still brahma gnanam pratyaksha gnanam is possible here in this two vrittis are required gnana vritti knowledge thought and vishaya the object knowledge thought and vishaya that is nana chidra ghato darasthita maha in indriya janya gnana aindrika gnana aindriya pratyakshakam nana chidra ghato darasthita maha that is the example naturally we give now in this portion what uh, anishchala dasa are talking what is um, sakshi pratyaksham we have completed uh, um, aindrika pratyaksham and we have completed shabda pratyaksham in the th- last class dashamahatvamasi that is shabda pratyaksham afterwards he is introducing the sakshi pratyaksham that uh, i was uh, explaining the one and of line only i explained tathaiva tathaiva similarly similarly means what just as pratyaksha gnanam is available through indriyams and shabdam pratyaksha gnanam is available to sakshi also pramatari here pramata means mind plus uh, consciousness so the consciousness included enclosed consciousness is called pramata pramatari what happens sukha dukha adi utpatti kale when sukha and dukha happiness and sorrow when they rise sukha vritti is required and dukha vritti is required antakaranasya vritti hi that is called gnana vritti hi another name for antakarana vritti is sukshma sharira vritti here nichala dasa is going to very very um, very very what you can call um, minute subtle uh, discussions about uh, karana sharira vritti also avidya vritti or karana sharira vritti or sukshma sharira vritti there are two types of vritti sukshma sharira vritti karana sharira vritti very very subtle topic very important now in this portion sukha dukha adi utpatti kale when happiness arise when uh, sorrow arise how they arise what manner they arise we only experience i am happy i am unhappy like that only we say 
but we never know that uh, how this is happening what is the mechanism antakaranasya vrittihi see the first line antakaranasya vrittihi kale means at the time of the arrival of sukha vritti and dukha vritti here two are required for any um, exp- emotion sukha vritti which is um, in the form of pleasure and sukha gnana vritti i know that i am happy sukha gnana vritti so two vrittis are there sukha is the object of my experience sukha vritti i know i am happy that is gnana vritti so sukha vritti is the vishaya vishaya vritti we can call sukha gnana vritti knowledge about that i am happy i know that i am happy similarly you apply to dukha vritti dukha gnana vritti i know i am sad that is dukha gnana vritti dukha vritti is uh, dukha vishaya vritti so dukha vishaya vritti and dukha gnana vritti so dukha is the object of my sorrow so dukha vritti thought in the form of thought then i know that i am sad i know that i am sad i experience that sadness that is called dukha gnana vritti similarly you can apply this to dvesha vritti dvesha gnana vritti and uh, this gnana vritti uh, is uh, sukha gnana vritti okay gnana vritti here sukha gnana vritti gnana vishaya means sukha vritti all are uh, nitya pratyaksham all are nitya pratyaksha means i know i am happy i am unhappy you know all are available therefore pramatari is uh, the individual plus mind we can call so when the mind is included in the meaning of i is called pramata that we have to remember all the time so the types of vritti is presenting antakarana vritti karana sharira vritti antakarana vritti sukshma sharira vritti karana sharira vritti is avidya vritti that is going to come you have to be ready for this subtle discussion no memory that is uh, smriti roopam also uh, happens it is uh, how it happens he says um, sukhakara dukhakara cha bhavati so sukhakara means that it gets the shape that vritti gets the shape of sukhakara sukha and the dukha gets the shape of uh, the vritti gets the shape of dukha dukha kara cha bhavati tatha up to here i explained in the last class tatha um, taya vrittya saha with that vritti alone vritti alone sukha dukha dehe sambandha jayate with that vritti alone there is sambandha yatra vritti vishayoho sambandha vartate tatra gnanam pratyaksham bhavati yatra vritti vishayoho sambandha vartate tatra gnanam pratyaksham bhavati okay sambandha jayate tasmat sukha dukha de gnanam sukha gnanam and dukha gnanam sukha dukha dehe gnanam means vritti plus vishaya sambandhat tasmat means vritti plus vishaya sambandhat sukha dukha dehe gnanam we get the knowledge of sukha gnanam and dukha gnanam pratyaksha gnanam ityuchyate this is called pratyaksha gnanam okay this is a direct knowledge pratyaksha gnana only because i know i am happy i know that i am not happy also pratyaksha gnana purvotpanna sukha dukha dehe nashanantaram suppose that sukha goes away purva utpanna yesterday i was happy yesterday i was sad purva utpanna yesterday or day before yesterday previously or even last week 
पूर्वोत्पन्न उत्पन्न मीन्स रिजन रेज्ड प्रीवियस्ली सुख दुखा दे नाश अनंतर नौ दट हैपीनेस इज नाट देर नौ दट दुख इज आलो नाट देर यदा अट् दट टाइम पुष से फॉर दट पर्सन तादृश सुख दुखादि ज्ञान जायते सो आफ्टर टू थ्री डेज आलो ईवन वन वीक दट ई रिमेंबर दट सुख वाट ई एंजॉड बिकॉज ऑफ सो एंड सो एंड दट दुख आलो ई रिमेंबर तस्य तादृश सुख दुखादि ज्ञान जायत सुख इज नाट देर नौ प्रेजेंट दुख इज नाट देर इट इस आलरेडी ओवर बट दट ज्ञान दट नॉलेज रईज इन मै मैंड ज्ञान जायते पूर्वोत्पन्न सुख दुख ज्ञान जायते सुख दुख न जायते बट परंतु तत् ज्ञान जायते पूर्व प्रीविय सुख दुख तदा अट् दट टाइम सुख दुखा व्याकार अंतकरण वृत्ति हव यू रिमेंबर प्रीवियस हैप्पीने हव यू रिमेंबर प्रीवियस हैप्पीने बिकॉज ऑफ अंतकरण वृत्ति इट गेट्स अंतकरण सूक्ष्म शरीर अंतकरण मीन सूक्ष्म शरीर वृत्ति उदेति इन द वृत्ति प्रीवियस हैप्पीने पास्ट हैप्पीने पास्ट सैडने ई रिमेंबर हौ ई रिमेंबर जस्ट लाइक दट इट कैनाट हैपन वृत्ति रईज इन द मैंड अंतकरण किंतु स्टिल तस्या वृत्ते दट वृत्ति वाट रईज इन द मैंड हैप्पी थाट एंड सैड थाट थाट हैप्पी थाट हैप्पीने नॉलेज थाट past i was happy that thought arise now i was unhappy that thought arise now sukha dukha dina sambandho nasti now the present vritti which has arisen now in the form of sukha gnanam and uh, dukha gnana vritti at present that sukha vishaya is not there dukha vishaya is not there it is already over it is already past tense but uh, i have that gnanam sukha gnanam dukha gnanam parantu uh, sambandha nasti really it is relation is not there with that uh, vishaya ataha tad gnanam what you call that gnanam that knowledge which has arisen in your antakaranam now past happiness knowledge you are remembering now in the form of gnana vritti that is smriti roopam past memories people remember past memories that only people remember maximum people live in present is very less <laughs> maximum they think about memorizing the sweet memories they say you know. sweet memories are uh, um, bad memories also बट पी स्वीट मेमरी लेट अस हेव न प्रत्यक्ष रूपम दे आर् नाट नौ प्रत्यक्ष दे आर् नाट डैरेक्टली ऐम एक्सपीरियंसिंग दट सुख विषय इज आलो नाट देर नौ दट दुख विषय इज आलो नाट देर नौ ई वॉज एक्सपीरियंसड ई हेड एक्सपीरियंसड दट प्रीवियस्ली बट दट मेमरी इज नौ हियर इट इज नाट प्रत्यक्ष रूपम it is in a pratyaksha roopam so what so what now he goes further analysis next paragraph yadyapi antakarana dharmah sukha dukha dayah sakshi bhasyah tathapi sukha ka सुखाकार दुखाकार अंतकरण वृत्ति साक्षी सुख दुखादी प्रकाशयती साक्षी भाष्य पदार्थमपी साक्षी वृत्ति अपेक्ष प्रकाशयती 
when they are illumined by sakshi that is yadyapi even though even though this topic already we saw karana sharira vritti sukshma sharira vritti uh, previously um, the antakarana dharma whatever is uh, the nature of antakarana dharma means the attributes of dharma sukha dukha dayaha sukha uh, mind is so happy mind today sad mind that is sukha and dukha are the attributes of the mind sukha dukha dayaha antakarana dharma they are the attributes of mind then what sakshi bhasya they are all illumined by sakshi sakshi illumines them sakshi bhasya means sakshi pratyaksham tathapi even though they are illumined by sakshi sukhakara dukhakara antakarana vritti dwara eva without vritti that past remembrance of that happiness and sukha and unhappiness sadness you cannot uh, sakshi you cannot uh, recollect sukhakara dukhakara antakarana vritti dwara eva sakshi sukha dukhadin prakashayati sakshi ai di sakshi chaitanyam illumines prakashayati means illumines or reveals here antakarana vritti means sukshma sharira vritti uh, illumines sakshi bhasya padartham api even though those uh, objects emotions here what are the objects vishaya sukha vishaya sukha is the object experienced by sakshi illumined by sakshi sukha sakshi bhasyaha padartham api sakshi vrittim apeksha sakshi bhasya padartham api sakshi vritti that is vritti is in, inside uh, sakshi vrittim apekshiva prakashayati so there is a vritti is required prakashayati revealed that evakara is very very important so sakshi requires the mind antakarana vritti to illumine the mind mind play two roles what are the instrument role objective role now you see the beauty here sakshi illumines the happiness and unhappiness i know i am unhappy i know i am happy when i say i know i am happy i am unhappy happiness and unhappiness are the attributes of the mind so i know the happy mind i know the unhappy mind when i say who is this i when i say i know my unhappy mind and a happy mind sad mind happy mind that means mind is the object mind is the object how do i know vritti dwara eva vritti apekshaha vartate par sakshi vritti cannot arise in the sakshi then what is that vritti where it arise it arise in the mind only so sakshi reveal the mind sukha and dukha of the mind attributes of that mind sakshi reveals with the mind very very subtle i like this subject very much see sakshi see in our daily life we are seeing when it comes to the words we feel so difficult so need not feel difficult you see every one of us say i am happy i am unhappy this happiness and unhappiness revealed by whom who is this i i is sakshi sakshi revealing 
their happiness and unhappiness which are the attributes of the mind mind cannot know the mind mind cannot know the mind so mind dharma ha mano dharma ha sukha dukha daya ha revealed by illumined by sakshi so sakshi i am the illuminator of the mental happiness and unhappiness so that time what is the role of the mind vritti is required because vrit gnanam should be there and the sakshi also required vritti that is the point here sakshi vrittim apeksha eva vritti dwara eva antakarana vritti dwara eva sukha dukha din prakashayati so when sakshi illumines the sukha dukha where are the sukha dukha they are in the mind so the mind is illumined by sakshi chaitanyam which mind happy mind unhappy mind both are illumined by sakshi chaitanya how in the form of i am happy i am unhappy i am happy i am unhappy every time changing no huh? who is that knower i the sakshi am the revealer illuminator of that happy mind unhappy mind so vritti is required now to reveal this for sakshi vritti the thought antakrana vritti is required this antakrana vritti cannot come in sakshi because antakrana is called mind sukshma shariram so the mind plays the role of vishaya and mind plays the role of uh, instrument also so the sakshi reveal the mind happy mind unhappy mind through the mind through the thought which arises in the mind antakarana so at that time the what mind what is the play a role of money mind vritti instrument the thought rising in the mind mind serves like an instrument pramanam to raise the vritti in the mind so sakshi reveals the sukha vritti dukha vritti uh, sukha and dukha of the mind through the mind that is the idea <laughs> i hope i have communicated mm? uh, that uh, prakashayati sakshi hi sakshi bhasya padartham api what is sakshi bhasyam here sukha and dukha in this context sukha and dukha illumined by sakshi sakshi illumines the sukha dukha means what i am happy i am unhappy that is called illumination of sakshi vritti apeksha eva prakashayati okay <clears throat> now from this tadhahi onwards very very important tadhahi shakti rajatam sakshi bhasyam eva tatrapi sakshi avidya vrittim apeksha eva अपेक्षा रजत प्रकाशयति परंतु सुख दुखादि प्रकाशने अंतकृत्ति अंतकृत्ति साक्षिण साक्ष्य सहायभूता मिथ्यारजतादि प्रकाशने अविद्यावृत्ति साक्षिण सहायभूता up to here we will see now so very very complicated also complex complicated in the sense complex subject let me try i'll communicate tatha he moreover he gives one example avidya vritti told no sukha see the stage by stage we have to understand gnanam is of two types pratyaksha gnanam paroksha gnanam that is the first stage of teaching here in this portion then what next pratyaksha gnanam is of two types pratyaksha gnanam aindrika aindriya janyam or aindrikam second one what shabda janyam third one is uh, uh, sakshi pratyaksha so indriya pratyaksham శాబ్ద ప్రత్యక్షం అండ్ సాక్షి ప్రత్యక్షం 
now in this akshi pratyaksham what is not uh, uh, pratyaksha rupam na memory memory is not pratyaksha rupam smriti smriti rupam na pratyaksha rupam similarly here at just as the shabda pratyaksham sometimes it is pratyaksham sometimes it is paroksham like that here also smriti rupam na pratyaksha rupam even though it is revealed by sakshi illumined by sakshi it is not pratyaksha rupam it is smriti rupam it is only remembrance remembered knowledge later what is the next um, uh, level of teaching this uh, sakshi also antakarana vritti is required for sakshi to illumine the sukha dukhaadi antakarana vritti is required sukshma sharira vritti then he goes to further um, uh, hair hair splitting further hair splitting tathahi shukti rajatam he takes the vyavaharika one example shukti rajatam shell silver we you know shell silver or rope snake instead of rope snake he takes the shell silver shukti rajatam sakshi bhasya meva now i will explain this first then we'll go to the text here um that rope snake let us see then shukti rajatam we will see um that shukti rajatam example and rope snake example are similar here uh, so rope snake for example uh, ro- in rope snake uh, what happens when you see the rope rope happens to be vyavaharika satyam relative order of reality rope snake happens to be pratibhasika satyam pratibhasika satyam projected order of reality so projected uh, and vyavaharikam rope is vyavaharikam rope knowledge is vyavaharikam rope snake knowledge is pratibhasikam rope snake knowledge is pratibhasikam so uh, that example similarly here also he takes that shell is vyavaharikam shell silver superimposed silver upon the shell is pratibhasikam pratibhasikam so vrit shukti rajatam shell silver sakshi vasya meva they are illumined by sakshi alone sakshi bhasham tatra api there also sakshi avidya vritti avidya vrittim eva apeksha eva rajatam prakashayati this is the important point for us so sakshi is not making use of Uh, sakshi taking the um, what vritti is antakarana vritti to illumine the rajatam vyavaharika satyam but to illumine the shell silver it takes the avidya vritti or karana vritti what is the karana vritti uh, karana sharira definition also we saw karana shariram is um, ಅನಾದಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾಪಂ ತತ್ ಸತ್ಕರ್ಮಜನ್ಯ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಯತ್ರ ವರ್ತತೆ ಅನಿರ್ವಾಚ್ಯ ಅನಾದಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾಪಂ ಶರೀರ ದ್ವಯ ಕಾರಣ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸತ್ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪಕೂಪಂ ಯತ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ತತ್ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ ತತ್ವಬೋಧ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬೈ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ so here avidya vritti means karana sharira vritti what i said antakarana vritti means sukshma sharira vritti par antakarana vritti another name is sukshma sharira vritti for avidya vritti another name is karana sharira vritti so pratibhasika janya gnanam here pratibhasika Uh, is not satyagnanam it is anrutam 
रोप नॉलेज इज राइट नॉलेज रोप स्नेक नॉलेज इज भ्रम ज्ञान शल नॉलेज इज राइट नॉलेज शल सिल्वर शुक्ति रजतम वेर देर इज नो सिल्वर पर्सन सीइंग द सिल्वर ऑन द शल दैट इज भ्रम ज्ञान देर आल्सो वृत्ति इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर साक्षी साक्षी येलो इल्यू मीन्स द शल आल्सो एंड सिल्वर शल सिल्वर आल्सो बट हियर वृत्ति इज व्हाट टाइप ऑफ वृत्ति ही बैफर्केट अंतकरण वृत्ति ही परंतु सुख दुख तत्रापि साक्षी अविद्या वृत्ति अपेक्षा रजतम प्रकाशयति दिस इज द एग्जांपल सो देयर इन द शुक्ति रजतम शेल सिल्वर साक्षी हैव ए वृत्ति दैट इज अविद्या वृत्ति कारण शरीर वृत्ति टेकिंग दैट रजतम प्रकाशयति इट इल्यू मींस द नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट सिल्वर non existent silver it illumines sakshi pratyaksham sakshi pratyaksham parantu parantu sukha dukha di prakashane antah karna vrittihi sakshinaha sahaya bhuta mithya rajata di prakashane avidya vrittihi sakshinaha sahaya bhuta means what i read this portion i know <laughs> parantu sukha dukha adi prakashane antakarana vrittihi sakshinah sahaya bhuta sakshi needs the help of sahaya bhuta sakshinah sahaya bhuta means for sakshi who is helping to illumine the sukha and dukha who is illumining how sakshi is illumining through antakarana vritti that he said above साक्षिण सहाय भूत वेर एज मिथ्यादि प्रकाशने वेर देर इज अनियल मिथ्या मीन प्रातिभासिकातिभासिकजतादि हुच इज नाट रियल प्रकाशने टू इल्यूम इन द शेल सिलवर अविद्यावृत्ति कारण शरीर वृत्ति सहाय भूत साक्षिण Oh, who is helping to sakshi which vritti na avidya vritti ar karana sharira vritti why shell silver is bhranti mithya shell is not mithya shell is not mithya shell is vyavaharika satyam rope is not mithya rope is vyavaharika satyam but rope snake is mithya so to reveal the mithya vastu you require avidya vritti to reveal the satya vastu vyavaharika vastu you require antakarana vritti i'll repeat once again to reveal the rope you require antakarana vritti sukshma sharira vritti ah this is rope who is revealing sakshi only revealing how sakshi is revealing sakshi is revealing through the vritti the thought raised in the sukshma shariram antakarana sukshma sharira vrittiya antakarana vrittiya sakshi uh, rajjum prakashayati whereas roop snake is bhranti it is not real suppose uh, sukh um, अंतकरण वृत्ति अलोन रिवील थ्रू अंतकरण वृत्ति हेल्प्स टू साक्षी टू रिवील द रोपस्नेक देन रोपस्नेक बिकम्स व्हाट व्यावहारिकम रोपस्नेक विल बिकम व्यावहारिकम इफ साक्षी हेल्प्ड बाय अंतकरण वृत्ति प्लीज कम अलोंग विथ मी आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट अंतकरण वृत्ति is used by the sakshi helped by if sakshi is helped by antakarana vritti to reveal the rope rope is vyavaharika satyam rope as rope we sakshi reveals suppose antakarana vritti alone reveal the uh, rope snake also what will happen rope snake also will become vyavaharikam 
Ropesnik also will become Satyam. But Ropesnik is in the Mithya. It is not Satyam. Shell silver also is not Satyam. Shell silver is Mithya. Therefore, Antakkarana Vritti should not uh, uh, play the role in helping the Sakshi. Sakshi should not be helped by Antakkarana Vritti in revealing the what? Rope snake and shell silver. So, in, in the case of shell silver, since they are mithya, and in the case of rope snake, since they are mithya, not vyabaharikam, they are prativasikam, they are illumined by sakshi with the help of karana sharira vritti, avidya vritti. Otherwise, they also become vyabaharikam. Vyabaharikam. I hope I have communicated, you have to contemplate more. So, Antakkarana Vritti Sakshinaha Sahaya Bhuta. Mithya Rajatadi Prakashane. To reveal the Mithya Vastu, Pratibhasika Rajatam, Pratibhasika Rajusarpa Prakashane. Rajusarpa is not given. Uh, only Rajatam is given, um, Sukti Rajata, Prakashane, Avidya Vritti hi Sakshina Sahaya Bhuta. This uh, type of uh, minute observations, uh, explanation you can't find anywhere in any Prakarana Grantha. That is why Vichara Sagara is very unique text. Sahaya Bhuta. Sahaya Bhuta means uh, Antakkarana Vritti is helping to Sakshi. Uh, to reveal the rope and shell, antakkarana vritti reveal, helping to sakshi. And avidya vritti, karan sharira vritti, helping to the sakshi to reveal or to illumine the rope snake and uh, shell silver. Because they are pratibhasika satya. What is the conclusion here? To reveal the vyabaharika vastu, sakshi, need the help of antakkarana vritti to reveal the to illumine the pratibhasika vastu sakshi need the help of avidya vritti karana sharira vritti that is the conclusion here sahaya bhuta sakshinaha sahaya bhuta itham sakshinam sakshi sorry itham sak Sakshi bhasya padartha gnanam gnani api vruttihi vruttir avashyak vruttir avashyaki sa vruttihi yatra indriyadi bhasya sadhana jinya tatra tasyaha vruttihi vruttihi Vishayaha sak na sakshi bhasya yit yuchate Sukhadukhadi vishaya vishayi vishaya kavrutta bahindriyadi kam na karanam apitu sukhadukhadi utpati samaye sadhanantara piksham sadhanantara piksham vina eva Sukhakara, Dukhakara, Che Antakarna Vrittihi Jayate, Tasyam Vritti Vritti Vrittaru Vrittau Arudha Sakshi, Sukhadukhadin Prakashayati, Ataha Sukhadukhadikam Sakshi Vasya Mityuchate. So, Sukhnishadasa come to uh, establish that Sukha, Dukha or Sakshi Bhasyam. Having given the Raj, Rajata, uh, Shukti Rajata example to introduce the Antakkarana Vritti and Karana uh, Sharira Vritti or Avidya Vritti, Itham in this manner. In this manner means just as the Rajata Vritti, Rajatam required to reveal the rajatam sakshi required antakkarana vritti to reveal rajata sorry to reveal the shukti sakshi required antakkarana vritti to reveal shukti rajatam shell silver sakshi required 
कारण अविद्यावृत्ति कारण वृत्ति और कारण शरीर वृत्ति और अविद्यावृत्ति इत्थम इन दिस मैनर इन दिस मैनर यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू टू दिस अवर सुख दुख आलसो साक्षी भाष्य पदार्थ ज्ञानी अभी वेन् साक्षी इज इल्यूमिंग द पदार्थ ज्ञान वृत्तिरावश्यकी वि हव अंडर्स्टुड दट वृत्ति इज रिक्वयर्ड फॉर् साक्षी वृत्ति आवश्यकी दट ईज द अंडर्स्टैंडिंग नौ सो एधर अंतकरण वृत्ति आर् कारण शरीर वृत्ति व्यावहारिक विषय अंतकरण वृत्ति प्रातिभासिक विषय अविद्या वृत्ति ईज रिक्वयर्ड आवश्यक इज रिक्वयर्ड सा वृत्ति दट वृत्ति वृत्ति यत्र इंद्रियादि बाह्य साधन जन्या एनी वृत्ति विच इज बॉर्न औट आफ इंद्रिय बाह्य साधन सो इट ईज नाट इंटर्नल सपोज इट ईज बाह्य इंद्रिय जन्या त्र वृत्ति विषय वृत्ते विषय न साक्षिवास्य हियर ना इज मिस्सिंग प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक् यू हव टु ऐड नकार न साक्षिवास्य उच्य है सो वे एक्सटर्नल सपोज मैक लाइट फ्लास्क फैन एक्सेट्रा ईस आर् सीयिंग ईस आर् सीयिंग सो द्रिय बाह्य साधन ईज देर बाह्य साधन जन्या वाट इज बाह्य साधन हियर टू सी दाइट टू सी दॉट टू सी दुक् टू सी एव्रीथिंग बाह्य साधन इंद्रिय ईज अवेलबल दिस इज बाह्य साधन जन्य वैट मैक् नॉलेज पेन नॉलेज बुक् नॉलेज पॉट नॉलेज एव्रीथिंग बाह्य साधन जन्य त्र वृत्ते विषय दट विषय तस्याह वृत्ते विषय मीन आफ दट थाट पॉट थाट मैक् थाट आल दीज वृत्ति घट पॉट घट वृत्ति पट वृत्ति गृह वृत्ति पुष वृत्ति स्त्री वृत्ति एनी थाट अबउट एनी आबजेक्ट वृत्ते विषय दट विषय बोथ आर् नाट रिवील बै साक्षी द मैंड रिवील दमाता द मैंड एनक्लोज कॉन्शियने प्रमाता रिवील वेन द एक्सटर्नल से आर्गा कॉन्टैक्ट से आबजेक्ट्स दट दे आर् नाट साक्षी भाष्य वेन दे आर् इंटर्नल दे आर् काल साक्षी भाष्य उच्य है हियर सुख दुखादि विषय विषयक वृत्त बट वित् रिगार्ड टू सुख वृत्ति and uh, sukha thought happiness thought and sadness thought sukhaadi vishayaka vrutta that's why i said for the sakshi to reveal that i am happy i am unhappy what is the vishaya sukha is the vishaya and dukha is the vishaya so they are uh, not required bahya indriyadikam na karanam Your internal emotions to reveal sukha vritti, dukha vritti, dvesha vritti. These are all emotions. Happy thought, happiness, sadness, all are internal emotions. I am happy. I am unhappy. I am all these internal emotions. Bahyendriya dikam na karanam. External sense organs are not the cause. Just like. Uh, घट ज्ञान पट ज्ञान पुस्तक ज्ञान मैक ज्ञान देर् बाह्य इंद्रिय कारण बट हियर सुख दुखादि विषय बाह्य इंद्रिया सर नाट द कारण अभी तो ईवन देन सुख दुख सुखादुत्पत्ति समय सुख आदि पदार्थ दुख द्वेष राग क्रोध आल दीस आदि पदार्थ सुखादी उत्पत्ति समय एट द टाइम ऑफ सुख उत्पत्ति एक्सेट्रा साधनापेक्षा विना एव विथट एनी एक्सटर्नल साधन साधनापेक्षा मीन से आर्गा दे आर् नाट रिक्वयर्ड नईदर् सेन्स आर्गा 
nor uh, any worldly objects are required outside here they are not required sense organs are not required sense objects are not required to uh, reveal any object here because sadhana antara and another sadhanam vina eva without the external sadhanam means of knowledge sukha kara dukha kara these emotions are internal sukha kara dukha kara in the form of sukha in the form of dukha antakarana vritti hi jayate there is antakarana vritti hi jayate the internal sukshma sharira vritti jayate tasyam vrittim aruḍha sakshi sakshi um taken helped by vrittim vritti vrittau aruḍha vrittau aruḍha means helped by aruḍha means literally mounting as though sakshi mounting on the vritti in here helped by the vritti tasyam vrittim aruḍha sakshi sakshi helped by the vritti what vritti antakarana vritti here in the case of sukha dukkhas uh, revelation sukha dukkhadin prakashayati sakshi reveals the sukha and dukkha i am happy i am unhappy they are revealed by sakshi i with the help of antakarana vritti with the help of antakarana vritti that is mind sakshi reveals the attributes of the mind what a nice subject we always complain i am happy i am unhappy i am happy and happy see the mechanism happening here i the sakshi chaitanyam i am the revelative revealer of the mind attributes happiness and unhappiness which are internal with the mind with the help of the mind so mind play two roles here vishaya i reveal the mind happy mind and happy mind so mind is the vishaya with the help of the vritti where that vritti arises mind so instrument is also mind vishaya is also mind so mind play the two roles sakshi is the op subject mind is the object how sakshi reveal the mind sukha and dukha with the help of the mind what is that mind antakarana vritti what is the another name sukshma sharira vritti this is the mechanism more in the next class om pur namada pur namidam pur nat pur namudachate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ